So you might recall that Planck's law, or Planck's distribution for black body radiation is given by uh, P of lambda t equal to, and it's 2hc squared over lambda to the fifth, times one over, then our exponential, e to the hc over lambda kt minus one. And what this looks like is roughly, for, for fixed t, this looks something kind of like, like this. It's, it's, it's sharper on the left, it peaks up, and then it decays on the right-hand side. And so one question that you might rightly ask is, well, this is telling us the distribution of, of, all, of, the, uh, of, all, all, of all of the wavelengths that's being emitted by a black body. What wavelength corresponds to this peak right here? What, what is the wavelength that's being the most emitted? And that's what Wien's law tells us. Wien's law tells us what that wavelength is up there. And the way that we derive Wien's law is, is what, what you always do in calculus is if we want to find what this peak is right here, well, we take the derivative of our distribution with respect to lambda, set it equal to zero, and find what lambda satisfies that. And so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so... Well, let's get started. So we want to take dB d lambda equal to zero. All right, well, what's dB d lambda? Well, it's going to be equal to, all right, I'll do a product rule here. So this first term here is going to pull out a minus five. So we'll get two times minus five hc squared over lambda to the sixth, one over e to the hc over lambda kt minus 1. And actually, let me, um, I'll, I'll move this because it's kind of, it's kind of in a bad spot. So there we go. So that's our first term plus our second term. So we'll leave the first term unchanged, 2hc squared over lambda to the fifth times, all right, then we got to take the derivative of, of this guy right here. So what's going to happen? We're going to Pull out a minus one e to the hc over lambda kt minus one squared times the derivative of this guy in here. So this guy in here is is what we have e to the hc over lambda kt, and then chain rule we have to take the derivative of this guy in here, and that's going to give us what? It's going to give us well derivative with respect to lambda. We're going to get minus hc over lambda squared kt. So this is our entire derivative, and it's a little bit of a mess. So uh, the good news is that we're setting it equal to zero, which means that we can already start and just simplify a ton of things right off the bat. So one thing is that, all right, well, we have this factor appearing in both terms, so we can get rid of, um, I'll do this in red. Um, so we can get rid of this factor right here and one of them from here. Uh, we've got a two, two, uh, hc squared, hc squared. We've got a lambda to the sixth, and then we have a lambda to the fifth and a lambda squared. So we just have one lambda left over here. Um, and we have these two minus signs. So that's gonna that's gonna cancel out. So let's um, so let's 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 write this out now. So we have. Uh, zero equal to so what we have minus five here plus plus what plus e to the hc over lambda kt there's our exponential we have another hc over lambda kt hc uh, hc over lambda kt and this whole thing's over what, another e to the hc over lambda kt minus one. Okay, great. Uh, one thing which will make our lives a lot easier is we, we can notice that these combinations of variables only show up in the same way. It's always hc over lambda kt, hc over lambda kt, hc over lambda kt. So what we can do to simplify this a little bit is say, uh, let's just call u equal to hc over lambda kt and so we're left so this whole thing can then become minus 5 
plus e to the u over e to the u minus 1 times u. Okay, great. Uh, so now we're, we're, we've, we've ran out of space here, so let me copy this over onto a new page. So where were we? We had... And I'll, I'll rewrite it a little bit. u times e to the u over e to the u minus 1 minus 5 equals 0. Okay, great. All we have to do now is solve for u. Uh, and so, okay, how do we do that? Well, first, let's multiply everything by this denominator here. Uh, what's going to happen? We're going to get uh, u e to the u minus 5 e to the u minus 1 equals zero and we can uh, we can rearrange this such that we get e to the u times u minus five plus five equals zero okay we've got this now all that we have to do is uh, find find the value of u for which this thing's equal to zero and Hopefully you're coming here um, from my Lambert W video. If not, go watch that because that's going to be the secret on how we solve this equation. Um, but yeah, so so this kind of looks like something like a Lambert W function type thing where we have u times e to the u with something else. So let's see if we can try and manipulate this such that we can use that and get an exact solution for u. Uh, so now and I'll just quickly remind us that with the Lambert W function, what we're looking for is uh, if we have something of this form here, then we can solve for y as Lambert W function of x. Okay, so what can we do to try and make this look like this? Well, we have u minus 5. If we had a u minus 5 up here, then we would be set. So how can we get that? Well, multiply both sides by u to the minus 5. All right. So when we do that, what happens? And then I'll move this over here. So we have u minus 5 times e to the u minus 5 equals minus 5 e to the minus 5. Okay, we've just about got it. Uh, this is exactly in the same form as this. So we can use our w function. We get u minus 5 is equal to What's it equal to? It's equal to the Lambert W of minus 5 e to the minus 5. Great, so we've got it. U is equal to 5 plus W uh, minus 5 e to the minus 5. And, I'll, and I'll, write, I'll make a little border here so we don't get confused. Um, okay, we, so we've got U. Now let, let's quickly remind ourselves, uh, well, what's U equal to? Well, U is equal to HC over lambda KT, so we have hc over lambda kt equal to 5 plus w of minus 5 e to the minus 5. Great. Okay, what's our last thing to do? Well, from the get-go, what were we trying to do? We were trying to solve for lambda. We wanted to find the value of lambda for which this was satisfied. So now we just need to solve for lambda. And that's straightforward. And when we do it, what do we get? We get lambda equaling hc over kt multiplied by this funny factor right here, this 5 plus w of minus 5 e to the minus 5. Boom. Okay, well hc, k, those are all just constants. Same with this right here, this is just some number. Uh, so what actually happens when we when we evaluate this out? I mean, it, it's it's good to get an idea for numerical values. And so, when you actually, if you were to actually plug all this in, what you would get is lambda equal to b over t, where this b is equal to two point nine times ten to the minus three meters kelvin. I'll circle this because this is uh, this is Wien's law right here. This is the expression for the wavelength that maximizes uh, the Planck distribution. And so I think I'll, I'll leave this here. In the next video, I'll go into a bit more uh, 
thinking about what this law is actually telling us and what we can learn from it. But here, what we've done is we, we've derived it. We started with the Planck's law, his distribution for black body radiation, and we found the lambda which maximizes it. So I'll see you in the next video.